just remind you how things stand in Germany after that result. Well, Borussia Dortmund are in action on Sunday with the opportunity to once again close the gap to six points. Oh, they'll make a mess of it. They certainly yes, they will. They always do when yeah. Bayern give them an, an opportunity. Uh, we'll talk about their clash with Union Berlin in a moment, but uh, let's welcome in Jan Argafjortov, shall we, to the show. Uh, Jan, the obvious question seems, um, how on earth did this happen? Well, spoiler alert, Bayern will win again and again and again, the German Bundesliga. But it was quite interesting before this game because Manuel Neuer was out, Sven Ulreich in. They sold Sule or they're losing Sule in the summer. He chose to go to number two, Dortmund, which surprised all Germany. And it was very surprisingly when you see Upamecano and Sule today, they were absolutely rubbish. They were so bad that they took Upamecano off at half time. And, but having said that, you showed it in your. Uh, uh, from, from the game, fantastic goals from Bochum mm. in Ruhr Stadion, fantastic atmosphere. This is a great, working, tough, good team that fight for it. And yes, I tried, I, I, I thought at 4-1, 4-2, I thought, okay, we'll have 4-3 now. And Lewandowski hit the post or bar uh, uh, a bit later, but 4-2 losing. And, and the worrying thing for Bayern, I, I will say, this is a game they won 7-0. In the first game against Bochum. And Joshua Kimmich said after the game, I said, we have to be aware because a big team like Germ uh, like Bayern Munich now, they, they did the same in Gladbach there in the cup. Five goals there, four goals now. And there is something about this Bayern team that we haven't seen before that these results try to pop up. I mean, we haven't seen a result like this is Franz Beckenbauer was a kid, I guess. I mean, I was in Frankfurt the Stadium today and every time there came a signal in the stadium with a goal, people were, well, has Bochum scored again? Yes, they have. I mean, 4-1 at halftime. And those six minutes in first half, I've never seen something like that when, when Bayern is, is on the pitch. How significant is this considering, obviously, Bayern are going to win the Bundesliga, but for the Champions League? Well, I think they will start doubting because they, they always say, well, Manuel Neuer out, well, Sven Ulrich, Ulrich will do his thing. Remember, they sent, they sent the young goalkeeper, Nubel, they sent him to, to Monaco. I think for, for this time, I'm going to Salzburg on Wednesday and, and no disrespect to Salzburg, but I think that Salzburg will be a, is a good draw for Bayern Munich. They, they will go through there and, and Lewandowski will get his goals. He got two as well uh, today. But... We'll see. You're talking about Benzema, how long he will be out. They say four weeks now for Manuel Neuer. Give him one or two extra weeks, then, then they are going. Uh, th that is going to be a bit worrying for them because I think the disadvantage for Bayern, I, I don't think they will admit that, but we have to start talking about, when we talk about PSG in France, not having the great games at the weekends before a Champions League. <laughs> well, today they had a great game before the Champions League. But, but it seems to be the thing that Bayern usually can use 80-90% to win games in the Bundesliga. They've got to be top fit and they can't concede goals uh, as they're doing at the mo moment in the Champions League. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.